Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Good Garvey Day to my continental Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Australian Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Africans in Asia. Good Garvey Day to my South Pacific Africans. Good Garvey Day to my continental Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Canadian Africans. I will see you October 4th through the 6th. Good Garvey Day to my Caribbean Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Central American Africans. Good Garvey Day to my South American Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Africans in Europe. I will see my London Africans October the 21st through the 27th. And good Garvey Day to my American Africans, my California Africans, my Arizona Africans, my Seattle and Portland Africans, my Des Moines and Omaha Africans, my St. Louis, my Louisville Africans, my Atlanta in Savannah and Albany, Georgia Africans, my Raleigh in Durham, Carolina Africans, my Greenville and Charleston and Oyotunji African Village Africans in South Carolina, my Baltimore, my Eastern Shore Africans, my Dover, Delaware, my Wilmington, my Newcastle, Delaware Africans, my Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, Coatesville, Yaden, Darby, Philadelphia, Harrisburg Africans, to my Camden and my Trenton and my Jersey City and my Newark and my Willenboro, New Jersey Africans, to my Hamden Connecticut Africans and all my Connecticut and my Providence Rhode Island Africans and my Boston Massachusetts Africans and my Michigan and Chicago and my Milwaukee Africans peace and pan-Africanism brothers and sisters I'm only going to be about 15 minutes because I have some things to do melanin is dripping as usual melanin is dripping as usual Melanin is dripping as usual. Make sure you hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Make sure you hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Make sure you hit the PayPal International Africans, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. But what I wanted to cover was the revolutionary triple eclipse and Pluto entering Aquarius. As African people, we must pay attention to the stars. As African people, we must pay attention to the galaxy. As African people, we must pay attention to the heavens. We have a triple eclipse coming up. We have an eclipse on September the 17th. We have an eclipse on October the 2nd. And we just barely miss a third eclipse on October the 17th. And then two days after the almost eclipse of October the 17th, the planet Pluto will enter into Aquarius permanently for the next 15 to 20 years. What is your point, Professor Ifa Tunde? What is your point, Dr. Umar? What are you trying to say? King Kong consciousness I am saying that we cannot only pay attention to the political climate we need to pay attention to the spiritual climate no one can convince me that it is a pure coincidence no one can convince me it's Sunday I'm a Leo we rule Sunday where my Leo's at one time I know it's Virgo season. Shout out to the Virgos. I know it's Virgo season, but Sunday is the day of the Leo and the lioness. So where are my lions and lionesses at one time? We are the center of the universe. Whether you like it or not, the Leos are the center of the universe. Just like I'm the center of the Pan-African universe. I'm the center of the black psychology universe. I'm the center of the black consciousness universe that's just the way it goes so the son of the sun is talking to you on sunday the son of the sun is talking to you on sunday i said the son of the sun
is talking to you on Sunday. So now, on September 17th, Queen Mother Harriet Tubman escaped from slavery in Maryland. On September 17th, Queen Mother Harriet Tubman escaped from slavery in Maryland. Is it a coincidence that the next eclipse during this American election cycle is on the that anniversary of Queen Mother Araminta Ross's escape from slavery? Is that a coincidence? And is it further a coincidence that the next eclipse the very next eclipse on October 2nd is on Prophet Nat Turner's Earth Day. Is that a coincidence that the next two eclipses are on days that we celebrate the two greatest revolutionaries to ever walk on American soil? So you got Harriet on September 17. You got Nat Turner Eclipse October the 2nd. Y'all can join me in Nat Turner land if you like for that celebration. You can join me in Nat Turner land if you like. Go to natturnerlibrary.com and get your tickets. Go to natturnerlibrary.com and get your tickets for the Nat Turner Earth Day celebration October the 2nd. And then on October the 17th, Enslaved African revolutionary ancestor danger filled newbie. I want you to research danger filled newbie. Danger filled newbie was the first man to die in John Brown's raid on Harper's Ferry. October 17th, 1859, Dangerfield Newby was the first African, the first soldier of John Brown's to die. October 17th, 1859. And that is his eclipse. And then two days later on October the 19th, Two days later, on October 19th, revolutionary planet Pluto enters revolutionary sign of Aquarius, where it will be for the next 225 years. How you doing, beautiful? Good to see you. Dr. Umar. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, yourself. Good to see you, queen. You too now. Black queens forever. Snow bunnies never. Black queens forever. Snow bunnies never. Black queens forever. Snow bunnies never. Now let me get back. Let me get back to Pluto entering Aquarius. The last time the planet Pluto was in the sign of Aquarius. No problem. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius was 200 years ago. 1778 to 1798, if memory serves me correctly. Do you know what happened the last time Pluto entered Aquarius? Do you know what was going on the last time Pluto entered Aquarius over 200 years ago? The Haitian Revolution, the French Revolution, the American Revolution. Do I need to say anything else? The last time Pluto was in the sign of Aquarius, the American Revolution was in progress. The French Revolution was in progress. 
in the Haitian Revolution was in progress. Where my Haitian Africans at? Where my Haitian Africans at? That's what I want for it. Right. So, so, I'm telling you right now, whether you are a continental African, an American African, a South American African, a Canadian African, a French African, a German African, a British African, a Jamaican African, a Bermudian African, whether you are a South Pacific African, an Australian African, you better understand revolution is on our doorsteps. Will we seize the time? Revolution is at our doorsteps. Will we seize the time, brothers and sisters? This is the first time that the planet Pluto will be in Aquarius in 226 years. Are y'all ready for this? Get your guns, get your bullets, get in shape. Black women, self-defense class, gun class. The next 200 years on the planet Earth will be revolution. Now that revolution can work for African people or that revolution can work against African people. Harriet Tubman is coming to warn you with her eclipse on September 17th. The prophet Nat Turner is coming to warn you with his eclipse on November, October the 2nd. Danger filled newbie is coming to warn you with his eclipse October the 17th. And then Pluto enters Aquarius. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? This includes the presidential election in America. It's no coincidence that the next election is taking place during this galactically revolutionary period. It's no coincidence that the next American election is taking place during this spiritually transformative period. But it's not just about Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. This is about Africa. This is about the Caribbean. This is about North Central South America. This is about Europe. It's time for us to rise. And it's time for African youth worldwide to rise. The under 30 year olds are going to be the ones to destroy this artificial world order. It is the under 30 year olds that are going to bring us a new African world order. If you're over 30, our job is to help them. If you're over 30, our job is to train them. If you're over 30, our job is to support and encourage them. But this revolution will be done by those under 30. Was not Harriet Tubman in her 20s? Was not the prophet Nat Turner? He had just turned 31 years old when he started the greatest revolution in American soil. John Jacques Dessalines was in his 20s when he joined to saint -La Overture, maybe his early 30s. It's time for revolution. Stop partying and start meditating. Stop shopping and start organizing. Stop being addicted to these YouTube and struggle streamers and pick up some revolutionary books. Brothers and sisters, nobody walking the planet Earth will ever see Pluto and Aquarius again in your life. If you are walking the planet Earth right now, you will never again see Pluto in the planet Aquarius. Never again. We must seize this time for our great grandchildren's great grandchildren. The time is now. We will be observing the Nat Turner eclipse in Nat Turner land. I'm going to privately observe the Harriet Tubman eclipse in Philly. And then I might be at Howard University's homecoming on October the 17th, where we will observe the danger filled newbie eclipse. I said I received an invitation to host a Howard University homecoming comedy show on the night 
of October the 17th, which is the revolutionary enslaved African danger filled newbies eclipse the first to die for John Brown at Harper's Ferry on October the 17th, 1859. Howard University, do you want me at your homecoming Saturday night, October the 17th? I said Howard University, my DMV Africans, my Washington DC, my Maryland, my Virginia Africans, do you want the Prince of Pan-Africanism to invade Howard University homecoming night? Do you want the Prince of Pan-Africanism to invade Howard University's comedy show Homecoming Night, October the 17th? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. It is Pan-Africanism or perish. It is Garveyism or get back. It is organize or die, brothers and sisters. So I will keep y'all posted on the Howard University comedy show hosting invite October the 17th but I want y'all to get ready for this eclipse on September the 17th the day Harriet Tubman ran away from slavery brothers and sisters I want you to get your tickets for the Nat Turner eclipse October the 2nd go to natturnerlibrary.com me and my good brother Nick Cannon gonna link up tomorrow for another classic council culture cannons class interview i said me and my good brother nick cannon gonna link up in los angeles tomorrow what's going on in los angeles tomorrow night what's going on in los angeles tomorrow night for my california africans salt lake city utah send me a text message I got a hater out there I need to pull up on anyway. Salt Lake City, Utah. I want to come to Salt Lake City, Utah. If you live in Salt Lake City, Utah, shoot me a text message if you have a space. I'm ready for Salt Lake City. Tell Carl Malone to get out the way for a minute. Tell Carl Malone to stop bunny hopping for a minute. I'm coming to Salt Lake City. Text my phone, Salt Lake City Africans. 215-989-9858 215-989-9858 Las Vegas, Nevada, November the 22nd. Are you ready? Las Vegas, Nevada, November the 22nd. Are you ready? Las Vegas, Nevada, November the 22nd. Are you ready? Edward Waters University, Jacksonville, Thursday, September the 26th, 7 p.m. Are you ready? HBCU, Edward Waters University in Jacksonville, Florida, Thursday, September the 26th at 7 p.m. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? Jacksonville, Florida, are you ready for the Ifatunde Day invasion of HBCU Edward Waters College? Newark, New Jersey. Sunday, September 15th, Source of Knowledge Bookstore. Where my Newark, New Jersey Africans at? Where my Newark, New Jersey Africans at? Where my Jersey City? Where my Patterson, New Jersey at? Where my Trentonian Africans at? I want to see you at the Source of Knowledge Bookstore next Sunday, September the 15th, 12 until 6. They're giving out free books. Bring the children. They're giving out free books. Bring the children. They're giving out free books at the Source of Knowledge Bookstore, Newark, New Jersey, Sunday, October, the, excuse me, Sunday, September, September, Sunday, September the 15th, next Sunday, 12 until 6. Bring your children and get some free books. You don't need no tickets. You don't need to sign up. Just pull up. Prince of Pan-Africanism will bless the mic at 2 p.m. The Prince of Pan-Africanism will bless the mic at 2 p.m. Sunday, September the 15th at the Source of Knowledge Bookstore in Newark, New Jersey. I'm working on the retreats, brothers and sisters. I'm working on the retreats, brothers and sisters. 
podcast interviews. I don't check my e- my inbox. I told y'all ninjas that a million times. Y'all do not listen. I think I need to get out my psychological test equipment and test you ninjas for a listening comprehension disability. I think you must have a listening comprehension disability because I told you podcast interviews must be text messaged or emailed. I get too many Instagram messages to find your requests. Text message or email. That's the way that that goes. If you don't want to follow orders, that's your business. He got the interview before you because you did not send it through the proper channels. I am not a YouTubian. I am not a YouTubian. My life is not social media. So if you need to reach me, you better use an email or my cell number. I'm already the general of the revolution. What do you mean? I was born for these times. I was born for these times. How you doing, my beautiful black queens? Good afternoon. See, this is not about me, but I'm going to throw you a little bone. September 17th, the day Harriet Tubman ran away from slavery. That's the day I showed up in Chicago for my historic Chicago television interview. That's the day I showed up in Chicago preparing to take over the global black consciousness movement. It's not about me. But that also coincides with the rise of Ifa Tunde, that September 17th eclipse. And guess what? November 19th, when Pluto goes into Aquarius for the next 200 years, that's the day I got my name, Ifa Tunde Ogunta Day, at the Oyotunji African Village on November the 19th of 2011. So this ain't about me. This about Queen Mother Harriet Prophet Nat in general danger filled newbie but we got to call it how we call it the first eclipse coincides with my rise my takeover of black consciousness and the last event when pluto goes into aquarius that coincides with me getting my name my destiny being born so you do the mathematics i want you to do the spiritual mathematics on this Y'all know who the king of black consciousness is on all six continents. Europe is not a continent. Europe is Western Asia. Y'all know who the King Kong consciousness is. South Africa, I will see you December 2nd. Where my South Africans at? Soweto, Pretoria, Kyalisha, Durban, KwaZulu. I'm pulling up. Orange State, I'm pulling up in South Africa the first week of December. I'm pulling up in South Africa the first week of December. I'm pulling up in South Africa. We're going to organize the under 30 political movement in South Africa. I'm going to say it again. We're going to organize the under 30 political movement in South Africa. Who ready for me? Where my Zulu under 30 year old Zulu Africans? Where my under 30 year old uh, quasi Africans? Where my, where, where my Nkosa Africans under 30? My Koi Africans. I'm coming to South Africa to organize the under 30 political movement. Where my British Africans at? I'm coming to the UK to organize the under 30 political movement. October the 21st through the 27th. Where my UK Africans at under 30? I told y'all I'm the leader of the African youth of the world, undisputed. I think we can all agree that that's undisputed. Australia, I'm gonna see you in a minute too. We working on Australia right now.
I need an invitation to France. I need an invitation to Lagos. I ain't been to France in six years and I ain't been to Lagos in about 15 years. I ain't been to France in six years and I ain't been to Lagos, Nigeria in about 15 years. What's going on with Nigeria? I get invitations, but they never follow through in Nigeria. I will be in Cameroon in December. Where my Cameroonian Africans at? Where my Cameroonian Africans at? Oh, yes. We about to transform the Bimbia slave village into a major Mecca for Africans in the diaspora. That's right. The Bimbia slave village is going to be transformed into a Mecca for you can come and pay homage to the ancestors. Los Angeles, California. What's going on tomorrow night? Where can I pull up at? I'm pulling up in Los Angeles tomorrow night. What's going on in Los Angeles tomorrow night? Next Sunday, Newark, New Jersey, 12 until 6, I speak at 2. Next Sunday, September the 15th, two days before the Harriet Tubman eclipse, I'm pulling up at the source of knowledge, I speak at 2. You need to get there between 12 and 6 and get your books for your babies. I do not have a California event. I'm interviewing with my brother, Nick Cannon. We got to hit y'all with another classic council culture cannons class. How you know I'm in Essington, PA? Stop clocking my background, queen. How do you know I'm in Essington, Pennsylvania? Stop clocking my background, queen. They want me to do the 20 verse 1 in Atlanta with the sisters. What do y'all think about that, y'all? They want me to do the 20 verse 1 with the sisters in Atlanta. What do y'all think about that? They want me to do the 20 verses 1 show where they bring 20 queens out. They bring 20 queens out and I pick the queens I like and then it's a round 2 and a round 3. But my problem with the 20 verses 1 is this. My problem with the 20 versus 1 is this. My problem with the 20 versus 1, how do I know everybody is a biological woman? That's my problem with the Atlanta 20 versus 1. Atlanta is transformer central. Atlanta is transformer central. Atlanta is trans. How do I know all 20 of those queens? are organic women how do i know that that's my problem you can't even check the birth certificate because they can change the birth certificate too so i don't really know i don't really know this could be a COINTEL pro operation if we're going to do this i need proof that these were biological queens i need to see baby pictures 
I need to see baby pictures, elementary school pictures, middle school pictures, and high school prom pictures. I need to see pictures from every stage of their life. All 20 of them got to be thick in the thighs and natural hair. All 20 of them got to be thick in the thighs and natural hair. They could be five, five thick in the thighs, four, twelve thick in the thighs, six, one thick in the thighs. And the hair better be all natural with no European hair color. Organic queens only. Organic queens, healthy, organic, healthy, organically natural queens only. Healthy, organically natural queens only. But... Let me tell y'all, I got a reality show coming out. Y'all ready for this? I'm looking like my, Kudrick, my cousin Frederick Douglass right now a little bit. I'm looking like my cousin Frederick Douglass right now a little bit. I'm looking like my cousin Frederick Douglass right now a little bit. I just noticed that. But anyway, I got a reality show coming out. Ladies, listen to me, ladies. This is important. If you are a black queen at least 30 years old, to 50 years old I need you to listen to me if you are a black queen between 30 and 50 I don't care if you live in Africa I don't care if you live in France Germany I don't care if you live in Nova Scotia Toronto Jamaica Bermuda St. Thomas my African Puerto Rican Queens my Afro Barrican Queens I'm coming out with a reality show called a date with the doctor I'm coming out with a reality show called Date with the Doctor. Listen to me, ladies. If you are of African descent and you identify full time as an African, that includes my mixed race African sisters, too. But you got to identify full time. I have a Date with the Doctor reality show. You're going to sign up for it. You're going to fly to the tri-state area of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. And you're going to go on a date with me, a custom-made date with the doctor, and we're going to have a date on camera where I'm going to ask you questions, and you're going to ask me questions, and we're going to talk about issues affecting black people. We're going to have dinner for 75 minutes. 75 to 90 minutes for the dinner. And then we're going to go for a walk in the park for another 75 to 90 minutes. Three hours total. Three hours total. There will be two dates with the doctor every month. You will be able to email an application if you want to date with the doctor. And you will come on the date with the doctor. What do y'all think about that, ladies? We're going to have queens from the Caribbean. We're going to have Portuguese African queens. We're going to have Dutch African queens, American African queens, Nigerian African queens, Congolese African queens, Somali African queens, British African queens, Australian African queens. Ladies, are you ready? Ladies, are you ready? Date with the doctor reality show. I'm wearing a suit to every dinner. Ladies, you must dress elegantly. Ladies, you must dress elegantly. And then I think we're going to slow drag for one song after the dinner before we go for the walk. Oh, yes. A private dinner date. We will not be at a restaurant. It will be at a private undisclosed location with a full chef. We're going to showcase different black chefs. If you are a black chef and you want to showcase your food on Dr. Umar's reality show, Date with the Doctor, it's about to be bananas. You cannot come on the date if you are married. You must sign an NDA that you are not married. You are not engaged. You are not in a relationship. You are not cohabitating. And you are not rainbow ganging either. Ladies, did you hear me? You will sign an NDA or I will sue your ass 
Don't you come on my show and you got a husband. Don't you come on my show you got a boyfriend. Don't you come on my show and your baby daddy is holding you down and paying them bills. And brothers, if your woman show up on my show, I want you to tell me because I will expose her because I am my brother's keeper. I will expose her. I am my brother's keeper. And guess what, ladies? When you fill out the application, when you fill out the application, when you fill out the application, there's a special box you can check. If you are dating as a duet, because you know I'm going to have two wives. You know I'm going to have two wives. So ladies, if you want to double date with the doctor, meaning you already have a co-wife and y'all going to date me together. Two queens and the king having dinner. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ladies, are you ready? If you live in the New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania Tri-State, and you are a videographer under 30, I want to put my young kings and queens on. If you do videography and you are willing to tape the date with the doctor and edit it up for the date with the doctor YouTube page that will be created, Send me a text message so I know you are willing to be one of the videographers. It's going to be sexy. It's going to be clean. It's going to be elegant. It's going to be nice. The ladies are going to come dress beautiful. Not too much cleavage now, ladies. Not too much cleavage. Leave the honey buns and the cinnamon buns for another time. Leave the honey buns and the cinnamon buns for another time. Not too much cleavage. But dress nice because you're going to be on camera, ladies. You're going to be on camera, so I need you to dress nice. Put your high heels on. Have your locks smelling all good. Because you got to have natural hair. You cannot be on date with the doctor if your hair is not natural. Ladies, are you listening to me? Ladies, are you listening to me? Ladies, are you listening? You cannot go on a date with the doctor. If your hair ain't natural. Oh yes. And once the date is over. You will be returned. Escorted by security. To your hotel. And you will fly back home. That's how that's going to work. That's how that's going to work. That's how that's going to work. So look for the date with the doctor. Look for the conscious singles convention. Look for the retreats. Look for FDMG. We still looking for somebody who can do the tile in the carpet. FDMG. We still looking for somebody who can lay the tile and do the carpet. FDMG. I want some of my African queens to fly over for the date with the doctor. I want some of my Canadian queens to fly down for a date with the doctor. I want some of my Panama, Costa Rica, Belizean queens to fly up for a date with the doctor. I want some of my Brazilian queens and my Guyanese queens. I want some of my Jamaican and Haitian and Dominican African queens to fly on up. We gonna It's going to be nice. It's going to be a real clean thing. I'm going to ask y'all some real questions. What can you bring to the Ifa Tunde Empire if you were given the Queen's throne? How could you help Dr. Umar enhance and expand his work and his empire if he was to put a ring on it? Oh, you got to have a good answer for that, my queens. You got to have a, they have to fly themselves out. And if those queens have a business, if you are selected for the date with the doctor, if you have a business, your business will be showcased. I'm going to ask you about your business while we are having our cuisine. I'm going to you're going to give out your website, show your products. We're going to put you on my social media. You will fly yourself out. But your business will benefit exponentially. You better have a business. I don't care if it's a daycare. I don't care if you selling bootleg CDs, black woman. If you get selected to be on a date with the doctor, you better have a business to promote. Because I want you to make all that money 
after you had dinner and dessert in a slow drag because I ain't got no rhythm so we can't do no fast songs I ain't got no rhythm my European ancestors those slave masters in my blood those caucasoids in my blood who raped my grandmothers on the plantation stole my Nigerian rhythm they stole my Cameroonian rhythm they stole my Congolese rhythm they stole my Ghanaian rhythm they stole my Togolese rhythm they stole my Cote d'Ivoire rhythm they stole my Benin rhythm that's where my ancestors come from and so I ain't got no rhythm the slave masters stole the rhythm out of my DNA so we gonna slow drag to one of my favorite songs can you stand the rain Ooh, a nice slow drag all the YouTube and struggle streamers gonna be hating don't hate me my brother don't hate me my brother you like sniffing panties, you need some help, my brother. If you run around sniffing women's panties, my brother, you have a serious sexual problem, we need to get you seen immediately. In fact, I'm going to 302 your thirsty ass to the closest mental health hospital. Where you at, my brother? I'm going to send you a 302 right now. I'm going to send you a 302. We got to get your thirsty ass in the mental health hospital because if you run around smelling women's underwear, you sick. You, you, we, we need to uh, put you right next to Dylan Roof somewhere. We, we don't... Uh, that's, that, that, that's very unhealthy, my brother. Ladies, you got brothers smelling your pants. Listen, brother. And you a grown man smelling draw. Somebody, somebody get that man a mental health escort. Can somebody call the mental health escort for that brother? That brother thirsty. That brother thirsty. Better yet, get him some snow bunny underalls. There you go. Get him some snow bunny draws. There you go. Get him some snow bunny draws. But brothers and sisters, I'm getting ready for the date with the ladies. The application will be out. The email will be out soon. We only choose in classy sisters. You could be a regular black woman. You ain't got to be nobody special because we all special. You ain't got to be, you know what I'm saying? But you got to come elegant. You can't roll up there with some Daisy Dukes or some Ed Jordans on. I'm going to kick your ass right out, the, right, out the, right, right, right out the dining room. Come to a date with Dr. Uma with some Daisy Dukes or some Ed Jordans on. I'm going to kick your ass right out the dining room. You got to be classy. If you can't be classy, don't come. If you can't be classy, don't come. If you can't be classy, don't come. Reality show, date with the doctor. Oh, yes. Somebody get 50 Cent on the phone. He might want to pick it up for his new network. Somebody get Tyler Perry on the phone. He might want to pick up the reality show. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm going to blow all the other reality shows out the water. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to blow all the other reality shows. Who with me on this? Where my Ifa Tunde queens at? Where my unapologetically African anti-snow bunny alpha males at? We're going to blow Housewives of Atlanta out. Y'all want me to do a date with Suki Hana? Y'all need a Suki Hana date with the doctor? Okay, I might make Suki the first date. I might make my sister Suki Hana the first date with the doctor. Because for some reason, y'all love seeing me with sister Suki Hana. So I'm going to make sister Suki Hana the first date with the doctor. And then I'm going to get a couple celebrities up on there. I'm going to get a couple celebrity queens up there. Can I get Lauren Hill on a date with a doctor? Can I get India Ari on a date with the doctor? We're going to get some of the celebrity queens on out there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to have mixed race African queens, butter almond queens, nutmeg queens, cinnamon queens, almond queens, pistachio queens, sweet brown sugar queens, chocolate queens, African lemonade queens, African pina colada queens, African vanilla queens, full figured sisters. I want my full figured sisters. We will not discriminate. Full figured. Come on out. My extra skinny sisters. You know, I like them five, five thick in the thighs, but we're going to show the petite sisters, too. I ain't got no problem. You got a, J, a Jada Pinkett body? I love you too. Come on, skinny sisters. Come on, petite sisters. But them 5'5 five, five thick in the thigh queens, that's going to be the bulk of them. They ain't got to be 5'5. Five, five. They might be 5'1. They might be 5'9. They might be 6'1. But you know them curvy voluptuous queens, you know. You know how that goes. 